tired of high fuel prices? How did a 2007 Ford F-150 go from 15.88 to 19.43 miles per gallon? Find out now. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homer gal. I gave you guys a heads up a little over a week ago that we were conducting fuel economy tests on a new product. Well, we can now tell you what it was. It's the MPG Extreme fuel cap. Before we get into the meat of this video, I want to be clear that the official claim of the company MPG Extreme is that this product optimizes fuel economy, boosts octane, improves power and performance, and reduces emissions. Best of all, it's made in the USA, and it works for both gas and diesel engines. There's no other official claim than that. The fuel tests you are about to witness are tests we independently conducted on the Homer Guy F-150 truck, and the results we produced are our own. You could have the same result, or a worse result, or even a better result with your vehicle. Also, I want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine, Mike Renz, who introduced us to MPG Extreme. When he told me what the product was, I said, Mike, I want to test it myself. I appreciate you, I believe you, but I have to prove it for my audience. If it works, I'll sell the crap out of it. <laughs> you see, Mike is a longtime car buff and a gearhead. He knows cars, high performance engines, and babies them like a son or daughter. I knew he wouldn't put anything in them that could harm them, so he immediately had my attention. Mm -hmm. Here's just a few examples of the cars he owns. So for you hot rod owners out there, perhaps it's not fuel economy that you're after, but the good news is this part is you too. Yeah. It helps to keep your high performance engine clean and give you some extra kick. Thanks, Mike, for considering us and the audience here at the Homework Guy Automotive Channel. And what great timing, huh? Who doesn't want better fuel economy when gas and diesel prices are at record highs? Are you kidding me? Yeah. In a moment, we're going to show you the video footage of our fuel economy test. But for those of you who are impatient to hear the bottom line results, <laughs> our 2007 yeah. Ford F-150 went from 15.88 miles per gallon to 19.43 miles per gallon. That's a whopping improvement of 22%. Well, so here's another way to think about it. This Ford truck had a range of 428 miles at 15.88 miles per gallon on a 27 gallon tank before the fuel cap. Now with the MPG Extreme fuel cap in the tank, it has a range of 524 miles. It saves just over six gallons of gas at $4.59 a gallon here, netting a $27.75 savings just by introducing a $1.99 fuel cap. The return on investment is off the hook, you guys. Indeed. Also, if you're thinking about taking a vacation, you need the fuel savings and you can enjoy the benefit of increasing your travel distance between fuel ups. I also want to take a moment to explain why we chose to test this 2007 truck first. Trucks and SUVs are known gas guzzlers on the road, right? You might not have been aware that the average vehicle age on American highways is now over 12 years old. So an older model, high mileage gas guzzling truck just made a ton of sense for our first video. For those of you chomping at the bit uh, to get a product order in and would like to know how you can get it, the website link appearing on the screen now is in the description box down below, but wait until the end of the video before you go there. There's a ton of stuff here that you need to know before you get started. Two options will appear on the screen. First option is a preferred customer. That's for those of you who just want to try the product. Mm -hmm. The second option is an ISR, independent sales rep, for those of you who would like to add some additional household income by sharing this with family, friends, and colleagues. Our THG team is here to help you succeed. Packages cost $29 for a preferred customer for 10 capsules or $199 for 100 capsules for an independent sales rep. There's also a one-time fee of $20 for a replicated website dedicated just for you, for you to use for your referrals. With budgets being as tight as they are in America and families spending a lot more of their hard earned money, high fuel costs are the number one topic at the dinner table everywhere we go. We thought not only might people like to try this product themselves, but could have some extra income in their household. Commissions are paid every week, so hard work pays off quickly. In the event you decide you want to share this great product with friends, family, and others and benefit from commissions yourself, the ISR enrollment is a good option for you. Our Homework Guy team will be available to help you and support you with either choice you make. We look forward to your great testimonies of the product and having you join our team. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your interest in MPG Extreme. The test footage is coming up. All 
All right, so this vehicle we're doing the fuel test with today is a 2007 Ford F-150. <laughs> it is the official, the Homer Guy truck. I actually enjoy the F-150 myself. This has been a great runner for us. I know sometimes people ding on the year that this particular truck is, 2007, and uh, say the years, you know, just before, just after, it had some engine troubles. We've had no trouble with this whatsoever, but have maintained it very well. Kept the oils, oil changed. All right, so the tank is filled up. We were able to squeeze in 20.485 gallons. Highway robbery in action. Bucks. Yeah. 169, 109.7 is where we're starting at. And we'll zero out the trip odometer to aid us on this. There you go. Okay. Current temperature is 73 degrees and forecast to hit around 80 degrees today. And we have uh, a crosswind we're going to be dealing with on the way out and back at 14 miles an hour. Okay, to aid in our fuel discovery, we have a scanning device hooked up to the truck. Shows the engine coolant temperature at 190 degrees. And that STFT is short term fuel trim. That's bank one. So this is the first leg of the trip without the fuel cap and we'll see how things uh, change as we go along. Okay, so I got the cruise set for 60 miles an hour and that's what we'll run on the next trip too. This uh, speed limit in this area is higher than this so I can actually run faster. But I'm gonna try to give... By the way, you might notice that there's a couple of lights on on the dash cluster over on the left. I was just thinking left. about that, yeah. Um, Ford is known to have problems with their dash clusters and on this year of trucks, they commonly go out. And so in the not distant future, that dash cluster is going to get replaced. The truck, the best opportunity to get the best fuel economy, base economy that it can. And of course, then when I have the fuel cap on the second leg of the trip, we'll do the um, run cruise at 60 miles an hour with that as well. Because of the temperature of the day, I'm also running uh, AC on low. And so, We'll, um, we'll do that on the second leg of the trip with the fuel cap as well. I wanted to mention uh, something else to you guys. Can you hand me that OBD port thing? We are quite fully aware that there's a lot of things that claim to increase fuel economy. This is actually one of them. This little device is, is a one of those uh, things known as an OBD port device. And the claim is, is that it increases your horsepower, um, adjusts the oxygen fuel mixture, and gives you 15 to 30% better fuel economy. Well, we would have already published something on these OBD port devices if they actually worked. So I've had conversations with a few friends about them and uh, have had very mixed results. So. We do not recommend getting a OBD port device, uh, no matter what claims they make about it. I think I cover this later on in this video, but the truck actually got worse fuel economy with the OBD port device in. So those things are selling like hotcakes over at Amazon. Don't waste your money on that stuff. You okay, another check of the device. You can show it shows our vehicle speed on there, 60 miles an hour. And the engine RPMs, 1800. And our outside temperature on the truck shows 71 degrees. The intake air temperature is at 77 degrees. This route from Williston to Minot is about 120 miles and about a two hour trip roughly. So if you notice how flat this is, this is from <laughs> Williston to uh, Minot. Yeah. And years ago I was actually on a deployment in the Dakotas and the commanding officer who briefed us said, this place is so flat, you can watch your dog run away for three days. <laughs> it is about that flat. flat. Yeah, so this was a great place to do a, a fuel economy test. So we were initially just going to do a trip out, put the fuel cap in out there in Minot, and then turn around and come back. But we decided that we wanted to give a little bit longer test and uh, it 
makes the data that much more reliable. Okay, the interesting part was is I discovered that my scanner also gives me a CAT TE11 Remember these CAT temperatures, TE21 you guys. readout. That is the incoming and outgoing temperature for the exhaust degrees. and the catalytic converter. Okay, we have returned from the baseline miles per gallon test that we ran. Set the trip and it shows 246.7. Here's the mileage on the odometer, 169, 356.4. And it's uh, 68 degrees outside, or the truck is showing 68 degrees. And if we look over here, we have just under a half a tank of fuel. Not so scientific, but we'll see what that looks like on the return trip. Just under a half a tank on this first trip and is remaining, and just over a half a tank will be remaining on the second leg of the trip. Yep. And that is actually with just a half tank of treated fuel going through the truck. So pretty exciting stuff. All right, Liz here has read the packaging <laughs> and it says one and a half caps for 21 to 30 gallons and we're gonna have every bit of that. So the capsule is going into the tank. There's one. The capsules that you guys will be getting are actually get round, not oblong like these are. There we go. And in goes a half of a so that's one and a half capsules are in the tank. Let's go ahead and fuel this thing up and see what our miles per gallon came back as on the baseline. All right, here we go. 459 is what this cost of this gas is per gallon. You know, Liz, what was the cheapest gas we ran into out in Minot? Um, 409. 409. cents cheaper. Yes. They drill out here, so perhaps they uh, can afford it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we are in Williston, right in the epicenter, if you would, of uh, all the oil drilling. And it was quite funny when we did our video on the EV vehicles and people said, Oh, are you guys getting a payoff from the oil companies? No. Nah, yeah, the oil no. companies would love for us to be doing a video on saving on gas. Okay, and again, we're fueling up with the 87 octane for 59.9. All right, so she's getting close to being done. It just hurts every time we look at it. There we are. 71 smackers for 15.534 gallons. Let's see what the math works out to on this. Okay, so 246.7 miles driven. And what was the gallons there, Liz? 15.534 uh, gallons. So miles per gallon is 15.88 on the first trip. 15.88. Remember I was saying, mentioning on our run out yesterday that we have tried these green OBD port devices. With that device in, the truck got 15.77 on a recent trip so miles per gallon actually went up without it truck did better without when people the say there's a lot of things out there claiming to do better gas mileage that's one of them and it doesn't work you guys okay with the fuel cap in the tank we are starting out at 169 356.4 i'm going to zero out the trip And you can see we got a nice full tank of gas over here. So we'll see what it looks like on the gas gauge when we return and see how the miles per gallon figure out. Okay, cruise is set for 60 miles an hour. The scanner also shows 60 miles an hour and 1800 RPMs. So running at very similar RPMs and same speed. Weather conditions today are very similar to what they were yesterday. So light crosswind, 14 miles an hour, about 15 miles an hour. So very similar to yesterday. And uh, a nice wide open highway. So we encountered very little traffic yesterday. We'll see if our dogs still so, run away, uh, huh? Yeah. Base. You notice the crack in the windshield. There's a lot of dirt roads in North Dakota and you get rocks thrown on your windshield quite often. And it's a Sunday today that we're running, making this route. So uh, we should uh, encounter light traffic today as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good timing on the bug splatter. 
thanks to Liz for holding on to the steering wheel while I do these checks. <laughs> do not try this Don't at home. Don't try this kids. at home. Do not try this at home. <laughs> All right, you guys, a little mid-trip update here. Uh, we are 75 miles into this trip and based on a 15.88 miles per gallon baseline, just over four gallons of treated gas have gone through the engine. Now, if you remember, we were at 1,400 plus degrees on the CAT TE 11 and 21. And to refresh your memory on those, those are the in and out temperatures of the catalytic converter. And so we've been running now in the low 1300s to upper 1200 degrees. So probably a hundred plus degrees cooler in the catalytic converter. And after a conversation with our in-house uh, engineer who's done combustion studies, he said that would be due to a lower amount of unburnt fuel in the exhaust system. Pretty awesome. Hope to have some good results for you guys here when this is all done. That's somewhere in the neighborhood of 140 degrees cooler in the catalytic converter already in this short of time. Yeah. All right, guys, here we are, 149 miles into our the second leg of our mileage test. And if you look over here, our gas gauge is hanging out at a quarter of a tank in gas use. And that was, uh, there was more than that much gas gone yesterday when we were 150 miles. Well, more than halfway through and just There's over a quarter of a tank. The other thing I want to show you is, take a look here at our scanner. We're comfortably in the 1200 degree range in the catalytic converter, both intake and output, 1289, 1288. That's awesome. So the fact that the catalytic this converter gets even better, is guys. cooler means less unburdened fuel is leaving the uh, cylinders. All right, we are nearing the end of the trip. We've got 213 miles on in the second leg of the trip. And look down here, our catalytic converter in and out temperatures, 1190, 1189. That is fantastic. All right, we are at the conclusion of our trip. Take a look at that gas gauge. It is well under half a tank of gas used for the second leg of the trip with the treated fuel. The mileage out is 169,598.4, 169,598.4 for 241.9 miles. Okay, here it comes. Right here, so filling this bad boy back up to see what the mileage is. 15.5 gallons it took for that first trip. Twelve point seven three three. All right. That's over three gallons less. All right. So twelve point seven three three gallons is what we filled up with here, against uh, two hundred forty-one point nine miles. Like this. How many miles is it? Okay. So Liz had this close. It was fifteen point five gallons, is what it took on the other trip. And this one was 12.733. So what was the miles? Uh, 241.9. 12.733. 19 miles per gallon. 19 miles per gallon, and that's just with a half tank of treated fuel yeah, having gone through the truck. That is awesome. So a few days later and two tanks of gas later, we did a little bit shorter test this time 120 miles but the fuel economy okay, the goes up the truck starting out are 170 079.3 you can see it's 83 degrees outside today so it's a nice warm day very similar to the other days that we went out and did fuel economy tests so let's see what happens i'm going to go to the trip odometer and zero that out Alright, so we are doing one last fuel check. We've been running the uh, fuel cap in the fuel all week, and this is about the fourth tank of gas. We've got 19 miles per gallon on the first half tank that we ran through this, so we'll see what this one comes out to be. 
for doing a hundred. If you guys decide to do a fuel test yourself like this, we recommend that you do the baseline like we did and try to do it as much as possible under very controlled uh, conditions. So a good steady speed, you know, a place where you can travel like we did, you know, at 60 miles an hour um, for a given distance and then do the same thing with the fuel cap in. And uh, if you send us a video like this, we will be happy to publish it and share it with others. Mm -hmm. 20 mile trek today, so we're not going all the way to Minot. We're gonna go to Stanley from uh, Williston and we'll see where our miles per gallon work out uh, now that we've run some of the uh, fuel cap and treated fuel through the truck. It's pretty flat, Stanley. All right, so we're back here at the gas station. We went 120 miles, so we'll see what this comes out to. Exactly right, miles. Within a few tenths of 100. Hashtag miles. the homework yeah. guy. Love sure loves us, don't they? <laughs> yeah, we spent a lot of money there in a very short period. Six point one five. Okay, so the distance traveled was 119.6 miles. So Liz, 119 divided by 6.15. 15.88 miles per gallon went to 19.43, a 22% improvement, and reduced the catalytic converter temperature by more than 200 degrees. Yeah, that's great. So coming soon, uh, test results on a 2017 Ford F-150, a local contractor, uh, after I shared this uh, with him, uh, agreed to uh, let us use his truck to do a fuel test. So that's coming soon. By the way, I did already make one run with this truck using just the eighth of a tank of fuel. The truck already showed a 12.5% improvement in fuel economy. So he's been running on it this week and uh, we'll repeat the final test again and see what the comparison is here coming up. We are well aware of the fact that bias can sneak into a test like this. So that's why we took extra care in our test to show you what we did. We also know that a dyno test is the most reliable way to test fuel economy. It's what the manufacturers use. Although, have you ever seen a new car live up to those lofty window sticker miles per gallon estimates? That's no, produced by a dyno. Not even close. Well, we didn't have the thousands of dollars to do it the dyno way. So after consultation with knowledgeable friends, we did it the way we did. I'd also like to share with our viewers that you guys are so lucky to have someone like Kevin watching out for you. To do the test that you just saw, he had to pay for several hundred dollars of fuel out of his own pocket, spending hours of his own time driving places he didn't need to go, all because when he puts his name and his word behind something, he wants to get it right. He deeply cares about every one of you. That's why the Homework Guide channel is so great. Well, thanks for that, Liz. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up and please comment and share with family and friends. Yes. And if you're not already a subscriber with us, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's exactly what we strive to do in every video we produce. In closing, I want to say this. We made the decision to test and promote this product because we understood that anyone of average intelligence could see how a product like this can change lives. Yeah. And we are far from being ignorant or reckless. For 13 straight years, THG has been recognized on YouTube as one of the most trusted voices in the online automotive sector. We take our reputation very seriously. We have not let you down on this one, America. We love our country, we love the American people, and we love our viewing audience, and we want to help make a change in each of your lives. Collectively, you and I, in a huge team effort, will have done more to ease the financial burden on the American family than any greedy CEO or elected politician has done for us of late. Yes. The THG link to get on board is in the description box down below. But let me say this, if you are watching this video because you were referred here by a friend, honor them by asking for their link so you can sign up with them. We are all about a win-win for everyone. Don't worry, you'll become an honorary member of the Homework Guy team anyway. So welcome aboard. Let's get started today with saving money on gas, shall we? 
Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. More fuel economy tests coming soon from great people all around the country. Mm -hmm. It's time to change the conversation at the dinner table from complaints about the devastating cost of gas and diesel to a conversation about how an American-made product is restoring the American dream and helping to defeat those high fuel prices. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. So where do you wanna go this time?